Hey, how are we doing Free Spirit fans? It's G here from South Coast Rods and today is an exciting day because it's the start of the Horton campaign. So this year I've been lucky enough to grab myself a gold ticket and uh, that means I can fish on Horton Church, Boat Pool, Crayfish Pool, Kingsmead One and the Island Lake. So I'm just going to head over to the RK Leisure Shop. Um, they've got a beautiful shop. Unfortunately it's closing down but uh, there we go. Famous RK Leisure right in the centre of Raysbury and we're going to go inside and grab the ticket. Zippy's looking through the window there, look, can you see Zippy? There he is there, look. there you go. <laughs> All right, let's go on in. And I think... Yeah, All right, and this is my ticket, Zippy, yeah? No, that's yours. That's mine, is it? Ah, that's mine now. Right, time to give the man some money. And then we get down the lake and have a look at that. All right, so... Let's see what goodies we've got inside here. Ooh. That's what we're after, people. RK Leisure Gold Card. Absolutely buzzing for this year. Super excited. Got all the paperwork, got all the rules. Got Dave the Carp Dog. Don't know if you can see him there. And check that out, he's even got his own little carpy rucksack for this year, haven't you, Dave? Right, Dave, going to Horton? Yeah? Good boy. All right, so we're rocking up to the, uh, the entrance gates to Horton. So on this complex here, you go through, and you've got uh, K1, the boat pool, the church, and obviously the famous Horton Lodge as well. Uh, it's going to put the old code in here. There we go. Look at that. Alright, let's jump in the old uh, cart wagon. Alright, and off we go. So, just whilst we're driving up the track, just fill you in a little bit on the. Uh, I'll put my seatbelt on. Naughty, naughty, go ahead, Graham. There we go. So, just driving up the track here. Um, yeah, it's a Horton, a historic lake growing up, um, you know, reading about Jack and the other huge fish that resided in this lake, the famous names that, uh, that tackled this water, you know, it's, it's truly a, an iconic British water. And at present, it's just got a ridiculous stock of fish inside it. Um, I'll show you the, the fish list when we get inside the lodge. You know, the facilities here are amazing. The lodge is out of this world. Um, the fish stocks are amazing. And the members are really nice as well. That's one of the things I like about fishing up here is that, you know, the, the members are all friendly. Everyone gets on. Um, you know, it's, it's a really nice place to come and fish. It's probably going to be one of my biggest challenges, I think, uh, in my fishing, well, probably for the last five years. There's a few reasons for that. One is that um, obviously the fish are very pressured, they're quite hard to catch. If you can get on them, they're not that hard to catch apparently. Uh, but it's a busy lake, you know, this is one of the, the sort of circuit waters. There's a lot of people fishing it, a lot of uh, good anglers fishing it as well. And a lot of people putting quite a bit of time in and my sessions, as some of you know, who've been watching my vlogs and stuff or following my fishing in the last few years, because I've got a little one at home, because I work quite a lot as well. Most of my fishing is just quick overnighters, so um, you know, turning up after work and having to be off early in the morning. And um, and unfortunately, Horton is sort of renowned a little bit for being a, a daytime bite water as well. It doesn't do many fish during the night time, so we're gonna have a work cut out, and I'm gonna have to try and figure out how to how to get a bite during the hours of darkness. Um, I can't really do a bait and wait approach. I'm gonna have to find the fish and try and figure it out on my own terms a little bit but I've got some friends uh, that's fished here before Stu uh, from South Coast Rods Rick as well from South Coast Rods uh, they've all fished it before and they've had good success so I'm just coming on in, in now I don't know if you can see that there and we're making our way into the uh, it's a large the boat pool it's just there so that is the boat pool that I was fishing last year um, had quite a bit of success on the boat pool last year and then we're just going to go through the famous gates and into the Horton complex there. I'm gonna put the camera away, find some of the park, and crack on. Well, before we go for a look around church, just thought I'd come down and have a look at the beautiful boat pool. 
this is the uh, the water that I was fishing last year. I'll still be doing some time on here. It's lovely little stalking water. Some gorgeous fish inside here. Some of the best lookers on the complex. Uh, I was lucky enough to have uh, a few of the 30s out and one of the big commons, which is what I joined for last year. Uh, I think it's called the Square Common at uh, 44 pounds, which is a beautiful fish. Not very big this lake. Uh, it's probably about five acres, I'd say, something like that. Not really sure. But uh, the fish get right into the edges. Crystal clear water. It really is a gem. This one here. The fish have been having a rest for the last couple of weeks. It's been a close season. It's now the middle of April. And in about an hour's time, a draw for swims will be taking place to decide where the anglers are going to fish for the start of the season. I'm going to catch up with Stu and his young lad Bobby. We can go for a walk around church and get a feel for that lake in a second. So this is the uh, Horton Lodge. We've got Bobby playing some pool. There's Stu. South Coast Ross business partner. And what about this for some facilities people? I don't think there's a lake in the country that's got a clubhouse quite like this. Full kitchen, massive fish tank. All the fish stocks are on the uh, the wall as well, so you can see photos of the fish. If I just turn around here, Steve's just picking up the darts. He's a bit of a supremo when it comes to the darts. <laughs> and then lying in the wall, we've got all the famous captures from past. There's Dale, former important bailiff. It's here for an extremely long time. And we can see the captions here. There you go, and out the window, we've got the decking that overlooks the famous church. All the lads there getting excited for the swim draw. Two bailiffs over there as well. Just out in front of that platform is the famous plateau, an area that's produced fish quite a lot in the past. We're going to go for a walk in a second, have a little look around the swims, and try and get a grip of the port church later. So these are all inside church. Moving on up. There we go, these are all the commons. So starting at the bottom that's all the commons, Thought Park Common 424 the biggest. And now we move into the church mirrors. So we've got the stockies there, the Dell stockies, beautiful little stockies. Moving on up. Now we start getting into the 20s. Upper 20s. And there we go, here we go. Into the, the big boys. Look at that. Upper 30s, now we're getting into the 40s. Still going. 40s, now we're getting to the 50s. Look at that. Well, we'll just have a little tour around Horton Church. Stu's taking me for a little look around. Uh, just behind me here, this is where the, uh, the church bay goes in. Beautiful little bay up at the top of the corner of the lake. Um, the lake stretches out in the background, back down towards the clubhouse there. And uh, yeah, some of you might recognise. Dave's having a good stare at it. Bit of an iconic landmark, Horton Church. Who knows, maybe this year there'll be a nice picture of a fish taking with this in the background. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, the other reason for coming up to Horton today was to drop off these beautiful custom build high S's for Gab. Full Dupont, high S, three and a halves. 40 mil guides. One happy customer. There you go. It's spot on, that's what it's all about. And to be fair, when you see a rod like this, Sometimes it's hard to drop them off and give them to people because I just want to go fishing with them myself. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully there'll be years of uh, big fish caught on those, I'm sure there will be. Well, that's my time done down at Horton for the day. I've got a shoot off. I've got another appointment to get to this afternoon. This is just looking out from the lodge and right in front of this swim here, I don't know if you can see the marker out there, 
is the plateau and there's already fish lumping out and showing in front of that. So fingers crossed a couple of fish come out early doors. I'll be back down Tuesday night, that'll be my first time getting the rods out on here. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little uh, vlog, looking at the Horton Church. I'll catch up with you soon.